Hello, you've made it to skill five and we're gonna start making sounds on the bassoon. But first we're gonna start with our reed. I've thrown my reed in my water cup and you should do so now as well. And we're gonna practice our embouchure using our pinky. First we're placing our pinky tip on our bottom lip. We're gonna roll that back just a bit. We're not trying to choke on our pinky. And we're gonna tuck our top lips over our teeth. So our top and bottom lips are both covering teeth. And we're gonna close our mouth around our pinky all the way. When I try to blow with my pinky in my mouth, air is not getting out. So the corners of our mouth are also being pulled in just to create a nice seal over our pinky. If air is escaping, then air is gonna escape when we put our reed in. Our reed is going to function the same way as our pinky just did. Placing the tip on our bottom lip, rolling that back. Our top teeth get covered by our top lips. And we're gonna close in the corners to get a nice seal. And just blow. If I don't have that nice seal, I get all kinds of extra sound. So make sure lips are covering our teeth and are completely surrounding the reed. And that's our goal for our first sound on bassoon. Now that you've made your first sounds on just the reed, we're gonna add it to the vocal. The reed is gonna go on the small end of the vocal and it should fit on snugly. For now, let's try to get the reed to be perpendicular to the shape of the vocal. The angle we're gonna go for in our mouth, the vocal is also gonna be close to level with the earth, perpendicular to our mouth. We're gonna try doing some long tone exercises and these are gonna be based very much on our airflow exercise from skill two. So we're gonna start with in for four, out for four, in for two, out for eight, et cetera, et cetera. And the goal being to get our in for one and out for as long as possible. I'll give you an example of just doing in for one, out for eight. We want that tone to be as steady as possible with good air support. If I don't have good air support or my embouchure is changing, we don't have a steady sound. So we want one steady sound all the way through, however many counts we're gonna get through. The next thing we're gonna try is doing some pitch bending. We're gonna do this mostly by adjusting our jaw and the pressure on our reed from our lips. I'm gonna to try to get a higher pitch by squeezing a little bit. There is a breaking point where I'm gonna jump somewhere else, but I wanna keep it within one sound. And to get lower, I'm doing the opposite. I'm gonna drop my jaw a bit and relax the lip pressure. Our neutral embouchure is going to be somewhere in the middle of those. So see if you can get some pitch bending going op open to get lower, close to get higher, and then find a middle point that feels comfortable. The other neat sound we can do with just our reed, getting rid of the vocal again, is if we bring our embouchure all the way to the first wire, because our first sounds we were about somewhere between halfway and two thirds into the reed. If we bring our top lip all the way to the wire, we're gonna get what we call a crow. Our crow is gonna sound like the pitch we were just playing, as well as one that's higher and one that's much lower.
our crow, when we get more advanced, is going to tell us a lot of things about how our reed is functioning. For now, it's just a neat sound effect. And also an indicator if you take it in too much reed to play at all.